Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the NMOS characteristic and its region of operations based on the different terminal voltages. We will also derive the current equation for the different region of operations. Also, we will discuss about transconductance. After watching this video, you will be able to solve numericals based on NMOS transistors which are frequently asked in competitive exams. So let's get started. NMOS characteristics. The current voltage characteristics of the NMOS can be described through its region of operations based on the terminal voltage. The following region of operations are possible for an NMOS. Cutoff mode, deep triode mode, triode or the linear mode and the saturation mode. The NMOS characteristics, the first is the cutoff mode. In this mode, the voltage that is VGS is less than the threshold voltage. So there is no channel created and hence there is no conduction of current. Thus, the drain current ID is equal to zero in the case of the cutoff mode. In the next mode of operation, which is the deep triode mode, in this, the gate to source voltage is greater than threshold voltage. Thus, the NMOS transistor has a channel created the source terminal is at zero potential and the drain voltage is very small. The drain voltage is actually very less as compared to the effective voltage VGS minus VTH. So as per the given equation, VDS is far less than VGS minus VTH. But in this case, the drain current is not equal to zero because the channel has been created. Moving on to the next mode, which is the linear or the triode mode. In this mode, the voltage VGS is again greater than threshold, so the channel is there. The source terminal is at zero and the drain voltage is now increased slowly. So now VDS is not very much less as compared to VGS minus VTH, but it is less than this effective voltage. Looking at the curves, if we plot the curve between ID, that is the drain current and the drain to source voltage, then we notice that the drain current will start to increase as the transistor goes from the cutoff mode where the drain current is zero to the deep triode. In the deep triode, it behaves like a resistor and follows the Ohm's law. And in the linear or the triode mode, the drain current begins to further increase. If you increase the gate to source voltage as shown in the chart, VGS3 is greater than VGS2 which is greater than VGS1, then obviously the drain current will also increase. Moving on to the next mode which is the saturation mode, again in this the gate to source voltage is greater than threshold and now the source terminal is still at zero but the drain voltage is increased further. The condition is now that VDS becomes greater than or equal to VGS minus VTH. So the drain to source potential has now become equal to the effective voltage and it is moving more it is actually increased further so it can be go beyond this limit. Looking at the curves, once the transistor enters the saturation mode, the curve between the drain current and the VDS, that is the drain to source voltage for different values of VGS is as shown. The drain current increases, but it will saturate to a maximum value. This saturation happens because the channel gets pinched off at the drain side. And after attaining a maximum value, the drain current will not show further increase. Moving further to deriving the current equation for every region of operation, we need to first understand that the charge QD is proportional to the voltage. So the charge QD can be expressed as QD is the charge per unit distance. So this can be expressed as C ox multiplied by W and in the bracket we have VGS minus VX minus VTH. Over here C ox is the oxide capacitance, W is the width of the channel and then we have the voltage that is VGS minus VTH which is the effective voltage and V of X is denoting the voltage as we move through the channel from the source to the drain. 
Now this voltage across the channel is not constant because as we move from the source to the drain, the potential is changing. The source is at zero potential, but the drain is at some positive potential. Hence, since the voltage is not constant, the charge will also be proportional to this voltage and hence the charge is also not uniform. Moving further in the derivation, now what we'll do is that we'll again write QD is C ox W VGS minus VX minus VTH. The main motive is to derive the current. So the drain current can be expressed as the rate of charge, so dQ by dt, which is expressed as dQ by dx multiplied by dx by dt. So this is the charge per unit distance multiplied by the velocity. So QD is the charge density, V is the velocity. The velocity can be expressed as mobility into the electric field that is mu into E. So the same thing is written in the equation. And E is expressed as minus dV by dx. Moving further, the drain current will now become mu n C ox W, VGS minus VX minus VTH, dV by dx. Now this equation is integrated and the limits of the integration are the distance is dx is from 0 to L where L is the length of the channel and moving across this distance we know that the voltage is from 0 to Vds. Vds is the drain to source voltage. So we need to integrate this and once this integration is done then you will observe that you will be able to get the drain current equation. Integrating this will lead to IDL is equal to mu n C ox W VGS dot VDS minus VDS square by 2 minus VTH dot VDS. Finally, solving it and minimizing will lead you to the equation of the drain current in the linear mode. Coming up to the next point is the equation in the deep triode mode. For the deep triode mode, the VDS voltage is very much less as compared to VGS minus VTH. So in the equation, VDS square by 2 can be neglected. So ID is equal to mu n C ox W by L VGS minus VTH dot VDS. And this equation basically denotes that the NMOS transistor behaves like a resistor and it is following the Ohm's law. So with the help of the Ohm's law and this equation, you can derive the on resistance of the transistor that is R on, which is a ratio of VDS by ID, which is equal to 1 upon mu n C ox WL VGS minus VTH. Coming up to the saturation region, in this case, again, the drain current equation will change. The drain current equation derived was as expressed like this mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vth dot vds minus vds square by 2. Now we know that in the saturation region vds becomes greater than or equal to vgs minus vth. Substituting this in the equation when you replace vds with the value vgs minus vth and solve that equation you will be left with the drain current equation in the saturation mode which is ID is half mu n C ox W by L VGS minus VTH whole square. So we get to know that the current equation will be different as per the mode of operation. When the transistor is in the cutoff mode, the drain current is zero. In the deep triode, it behaves like a resistor. In the triode, it is having a relationship that is depending on the square law of the VGS and VDS. And coming up to the saturation, again we have the variation of the drain current but this time independent of VDS. Now we come to the another parameter which is very important that is in the saturation region as the drain to source voltage is increased further, the channel gets pinched off at the drain end and hence the current will reach its maximum value and it will saturate. Beyond this point, even if you keep on increasing VDS, the drain current will remain almost a constant. Then we have the transconductance. 
Now this is a very important parameter. Since in the saturation mode the NMOS transistor enters, it performs voltage to current conversion. With respect to the gate to source, the drain current is produced. Hence, a parameter called transconductance is defined as the ratio of del ID upon del VGS for a constant value of VDS. So, transconductance is expressed as GM which is del ID by del VGS for a constant VDS. If we try to derive an equation for this uh, transconductance in the saturation mode, we require to first write down the drain current equation for the saturation mode. In the saturation mode, we know that drain current is half mu n C ox W by L VGS minus VTH whole square. We differentiate this with respect to VGS in order to get the GM value. And after differentiating, we see that the transconductance can be expressed as mu n C ox W by L VGS minus VTH. Now, for the NMOS, we know that if VGS is less than VTH, it is the cutoff mode and the drain current is zero. When VDS is less than VGS minus VTH, it is the linear or the triode mode and the drain current equation is as shown. Then coming up to the saturation mode, VDS is greater than VGS minus VTH and drain current is as shown. So this is how the drain current equation can vary in the NMOS transistor depending on the mode of operation, which is in turn depending on the terminal voltage. If you like this video, then hit the like button below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe the channel. In the next video, I will show you how to solve NMOS based questions that have appeared in the gate exam. And believe me, with using these formulas discussed, these are enough to solve those questions. So I will meet you soon in the next video. Keep learning.